Once you guys got another video here for you on how to transfer photos and videos from your phone to your laptop or desktop PC. This can be an Android phone or an iPhone and you'll be able to copy all of your photos and videos from that phone to your desktop PC or laptop or any mini PC or any other type of device you're plugging it into. Now, there's a lot of people that always struggle with this and it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You will need a cable and you can use your uh, Type-C to USB or whatever cable you're using to plug in from your phone to your PC or laptop. There's quite a few ways to go about doing this, but this is probably one of the easier ways to do it, and I'll show you how to do it in this video. We're running Windows 11 Pro, but it will work on Windows 10 as well. Now, before we get started on this and carry on with the tutorial, I just want to have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description, create an account on their website and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases. Once you submit your order, you can choose your payment method. They will send you your key, go to the activation center and activate your version of Windows just like you see. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. We're going to plug in our cable here into the bottom of the phone and I'm going to plug the other side into the actual computer itself. Now, once you do this, the phone will go into charging mode and it's not going to recognize any of the data on that phone. You may get a pop-up box like this coming up on the screen saying, allow access to phone data. This is where you need to allow this. If you don't see that, then you might see it on the swipe down here and there'll be a section right here that will talk about a USB connection. You can see here it says Android system USB file transfer. We've already selected allow, so it's already going to allow us to access our data on our computer. But if you don't, you can click on something like this and you will get this window popping up saying your USB settings. From here, you would obviously uh, put the radio button in transfer files on your phone. If you put it on charging phone only, you won't be able to gain access to those uh, files, which is your photos and videos. Once you've got that selected, go to your PC and inside this PC, you should see the actual phone is connected and we got the phone icon. We can navigate in here and you can actually copy all of the data from this method here, but it's a bit messy and you don't really see what the images are. So when you click in on here, this is another way of copying data. If you want a much more easier way to do this, I'll show you in this video. Now also we can gain access to USB flash drives, also cameras and other devices via this method that I'm gonna show you right here. So open up the start button and go to the search box and type in the search box photos. This will open up the photos app. And once you've got the photos app open, you'll see an area up the very top that says import. The import part is gonna allow you to import and access all of the photos on your device that you have plugged in. For instance, we have a USB device plugged in and we also have a phone plugged in. This is an Android phone, but it could be an iPhone. Once we select the USB device, you'll see it will give you access to all of the photos and videos on that USB device. This could be a flash drive and you can then import them to your PC or you can select all or select a certain few that you want to copy to a location on your PC you can see what's actually on that USB flash drive in a much more clearer and easier way. So let's just go ahead and copy these two files here. This is a video and also a photo. This will open up the add to items to wherever you want to add it to. So I'm going to create a folder here. We're going to call this phone. And once we've done this, we'll be able to uh, copy those files to that uh, designated location that we've just created here. So I'm going to select it and click import and that will then import those files. You can see down the bottom, it's just now imported those. Let's go ahead and click on the phone. It will search your phone. Depending on how much data you have on that phone, it may take a while for it to populate. Once it's populated, it will give you all of the videos and all of the photos in one location. You can then choose exactly what photo or video that you want to import onto your computer. Just check mark these two here. I'll do these ones right here. And we can now add these to our location. So click add, and I'm just going to put them in the same location and click import. And it will now import those two 
files over. So now we've transferred files from our phone and our USB flash drive. You can also transfer files from your OneDrive to and from OneDrive. And you can even transfer files from iCloud. So if you have photos and videos in iCloud, you can transfer those from your PC to iCloud or from iCloud to your PC using this method. You have your favorites area here and you have your folders, which is what we've just created. All your folders will be listed right here and you have your external devices, which is our phone and also my photos which is on my usb flash drive so when you open up the folders area you can now see we have access to that phone folder and we can open them up and we can then edit them from here if we wanted to in the same application you can click on edit and you can then do whatever you like where you want to resize them crop them and adjust them add filters and stuff like that you can even erase areas and things like that on this particular application you can see we've got filters right here if you wanted to change that up you can do it's a little bit limited for that sort of stuff but it is an option available to you in the same application so that is how you can transfer files from a usb device whether it be a flash drive or whether it be a phone whether it be android or iphone you can even do them from your camera if you plug your camera in you'll be able to transfer files from there. And they play once you get them imported onto the PC just like this. So you can do what you like with them once you've got them on your system. Now, this is just one method of transferring files from a phone to your PC or your laptop. It's very simple and easy to do. And it's nice and clear, as you can see here, easy to understand. And you can see what you're actually importing or transferring from a phone to your PC. Now, also, you can import stuff from a camera. I've just plugged my camera in and I want to import these four video files, which is what I'm using in this video. And I'm going to quickly check mark all of these four videos here so I can import them to the PC. Very simple and easy to do. And all you need to do here now is click on that add uh, four items and you can choose the location. We'll just choose the same location here, phone, just to save time, click import, and it will then go ahead and import them. Don't close the window and pull the cable out just yet because these are video files and they will take a fair bit of time. Here is the location right here that tells you the transfer uh, of the data. You won't get that normal window which shows you uh, where you're importing stuff. Once you're finished, you can then go back into your settings here Put the phone back into charging phone only. That way, when you plug your phone in, it's going to charge it instead of doing transferring files. And you can then pull out your cable and get on with your day. And you've just imported and transferred data from that phone to your PC. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.